Yo guys, it's Britt and I want to talk about today this topic that has been coming up a lot with um, my clients and it's something that I feel like I have a really different belief on than like the majority of most of human consciousness <laughs> does and that is about focusing on positive aspects of the relationships that you are already in even when they're not currently what you want okay so a lot of coaches a lot of you know just the general belief that society teaches us is to you know when a relationship is not what you want is to immediately cut them off or you know say he doesn't deserve me and like girls get together with their girlfriends and they talk about you know men and they say he doesn't deserve me he's not doing this and this and this and this and this the way that I teach it and say hi to me you guys when you pop on the way that I teach it is you want to start by focusing on what's already positive about the relationships that you do have okay and that is how you actually manifest your dream relationship is by building on the positives that you already have in your relationships, no matter how shitty they are, okay? And you use whatever it is that's positive. Like we as humans, we have these powerful brains and we have a choice what we focus on, okay? And by focusing on joy and focusing on what is positive and light and good about the people that are already existing in our lives. Hey, Nicole, how are you? When we focus on what is light and good with people, with our exes, with, you know, current men that we're dating that maybe aren't fully what we want yet, but there's aspects of them that are what we want. When we focus on the good, the good gets better, okay? And people seem to understand that, like, from a gratitude perspective about life in general. You know, people seem to understand that, like, when we focus on what's good, the good gets better. Like, when we focus on what we're grateful for, gratitude multiplies. But then what I see in relationships and with relationship coaching and with, like, my clients is, like, there's this fear of if I focus on what's good in my relationships right now, is that settling, if I focus on what's good about this man that I'm dating right now, even though he's not currently doing everything that I want him to do, is that not me saying that I don't deserve better? Like, am I, am I like, you know, withholding from myself the good that's mine if I allow myself to focus on what's good in this guy, even if it's not currently what I'm wanting? Hey, Rose. No, here's the thing. Settling is when you settle for something and, you know, it isn't really what you want and you say, well, I don't really believe that I get to have better, so I'm just going to have this thing, okay? Um, and what I'm talking about is I'm going to enjoy this thing because I understand when I'm in the vibration of joy and enjoyment, I'm manifesting my dream life. But with full knowing that I get to have everything that I want and that I'm worthy of what I want and that I'm a powerful creator creating my life with my emotional state. So I'm going to enjoy this moment. But with full knowing that it gets to be so much better. Okay? And with the men that you're dating, you know, let's say that you're dating men who aren't currently texting you in the way that you want to be texted or they're not you know, talking to you at the frequency that you want them to talk to you, right? And you want to get all defensive and get up in your ego and be like, no, I deserve better. I deserve better. Um, I'm not going to allow this in my life and fuck you and fuck him and fuck all this. And you just get together with your girlfriends and talk about how negative men are. From that emotional state, although sometimes it's valuable to really get clarity on what you do want, you know, those, those experiences teach you, like when men aren't doing what you want them to do, it teaches you, well, hey, what do, what do I want, really want here, right? But from that place, you often just keep manifesting the same thing over and over again. And that's why we have so many women who, um, and men, who keep manifesting the same shitty dudes over and over and, you know, people keep saying the same thing over and over. Why do I keep having this type of men who keeps doing what I you know, hey, I hate that he does this and I keep manifesting men who do this over and over and over and over again. It's because the emotional charge is still there, okay? And you're still getting mad about it. You're still getting frustrated about it. And here's the thing, with full confidence and full knowing that you get to manifest your dream relationship, when certain men that you're dating 
don't do what you want them to do, you don't stop trusting that the right man will. And so you don't even get angry at this man who isn't doing what you want him to do because you fully believe you get to have what you want. Here's the thing. This concept of men deserving us and, you know, like this kind of behavior, I don't deserve this and blah, blah, blah. You only get fired up about that if you really deep down don't believe in what you deserve. Because when you fully know what you deserve and someone doesn't treat you like that, you you actually just kind of laugh it off and it's almost like not even real. It's almost like, wait, like, is this even real? Like, I know what I deserve. I know I get to have the relationship that I want. So this bullshit isn't even going to affect me. Like, I'm not even going to allow this to affect my emotional state at all because I know that I'm like above this. <laughs> And you can do this with your dream life as well. Like when you're really on track to manifesting your dream life, you guys, and certain circumstances in your life aren't ideal, you almost like look at it like when you're really on the brink of manifesting your dream life, you almost look at it like, what is this crap? Like people aren't seeing me as a queen or, you know, like this doesn't even make sense. Like, (laughs) and this is the kind of energy you want to be in with men that you're dating in your life and women that you're dating. Like if you really want to manifest your dream relationship is this kind of lighthearted, playful energy of like when they're not doing what you want them to do or when your life isn't currently what you want it to be like yet, you can still enjoy the present moment with full knowing that it always gets to keep getting better and better and better and better. Little Dougie is kicking right now. He's like, mom's fired up. I love it. <laughs> or does he hate it? I can, I can never tell like if when he's kicking, if it means he like doesn't like what I just ate or doesn't like what I'm doing or if he loves it. Like, I'm not sure if it's like a, a happy kick or like a mad kick, right? Like, how, how do you tell? <laughs> so is that making sense, you guys? It's kind of a complicated concept. I just was voxering with a client um, earlier this morning about this. Then I did an audio training in my group program about this and now I'm like fuck it I just got to go live and talk about this again because this is so good and this is what I feel like no one is teaching about dating no one is teaching you to be grateful for the men that are already in your life because they're telling you that they're fuck boys they're telling you all these stories about oh if you're attracting men who are treating you like such and such and such and don't put up with this kind of behavior with men and blah 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 When what you should actually be doing is with every man in your life and every man you've ever known and every man you ever will know is focusing on their positive aspects so that you can manifest more of what you want, okay? Because here's the thing, you guys. We don't manifest what we want. We manifest what we are emotionally outputting, okay? So when we're getting all choked up and pissed at people and pissed at certain circumstances in our lives, from that moment like in that pissy energy, unless we can shift immediately to what we do want and get into those feelings of having it already, when we're just in this kind of like, he doesn't deserve me, I don't deserve this, ah. well, and we stay there, which is what a lot of people do, things can't change. It's okay to know what you deserve, right? And obviously, like this whole concept of deserving and worthiness is just crazy anyways, because when you recognize that you are a powerful divine creator creating your reality with your thoughts and your emotions, it's not about deserving. It's just about choosing a different thought. So if shit's pissing you off in your life, just think a different thought and focus on, okay, this is pissing me off. What do I want? Okay. And then you're not going to get mad at anyone. You're not going to get mad at anyone when you come into your power to create your life. You're just not, you're not, you're not going to be mad. You're going to be like joyful and you're going to be excited. And, you know, I'll leave you with this Abraham Hicks quote that basically just sums up the entirety of what I'm talking about here is this is the frequency you want to be in to manifest your dream life and your dream men. Okay. It's the frequency of, I am so excited with where I am I'm so happy I'm so in joy with where I am with this man with all men with my life in general but I'm so eager for what's coming okay so this is how you can tell you're not settling you enjoy the men that are in your life for whatever they are and sometimes men are only going to be good for certain things maybe you have a man that you love talking on the phone with for hours but he's just not hot and he's not doing it for you in the bedroom But you can enjoy him for those conversations that you enjoy without being mad that he's not the whole thing 
because you know that you are on track to manifesting the whole thing because you fully believe in your dreams, right? Or sometimes this happens the other way where we manifest men who, you know, are only doing (laughs) one aspect of another thing as well. Like they're, maybe they're only good in the bedroom, but then we can't fucking talk to them (laughs) about anything because I don't know, maybe we just don't have good communication. So when you focus on what's good, the good gets better. And eventually you can either manifest him, this particular guy, doing all the things, or you're going to manifest a new guy who's better. And you don't have to do that with hate in your heart for this certain one who wasn't everything that you're wanting. Okay? And that's what works. That's what I've done. Like, (laughs) that's how I stayed in the frequency of joy and lightness to manifest my dream relationship is like, I had to just stay hopeful and I had to stay positive. Like I literally, I tell my clients to do this too. Write lists of positive aspects of all the men that you know. And then the guy that you're going to attract is going to be like a beautiful combination of all of those things. Whereas most women or a lot of people are doing the opposite. They're writing negative aspects in their mind or whatever. But all the things they hate about all the men in their lives and then they wonder why they keep manifesting men they that aren't good and aren't what they're wanting. It's because that's what you're focusing on. We always get what we're focusing on. So anyways, you guys, that's that. That's my message for today. I'm going to post the link to my one-on-one coaching um, sign-up page so you can check that out. Um, this is the last call for one-on-one boxer coaching at this cost with me. I'm going to probably run like a, a mastermind in the next couple months, um, which is going to be awesome too. But um, yeah, it's going to be like a lot higher cost, a lot more one-on-one like like sessions video calls zoom calls because I love doing zoom calls now like mastermind calls um so that's gonna be cool but so this is your final chance to work with me one-on-one with just my voxer only which is a perfect option if you're like me um right now like in my pregnancy I don't want to have a lot of like actual appointments and one-on-one sessions hey Brittany So I've created this option where it's just, we get to talk all day long on Voxer and we just talk when we feel like it. You talk when you feel like it. I talk when I feel like it. And we can talk all day long if you need. Like we go through so much. Like I love Voxer coaching. It's my favorite way to coach. Um, So yeah, this is kind of last call on this. I'm going to probably sell it for like another week and then come up with the next new thing. But if you've been wanting my personal support where I can literally, you know, get in your brain and get in your dating life and get in, you know, your limiting beliefs and rewire them for you, um, you're going to want to sign up for this. So message me if you have any questions. I'm going to post the link here after for my one-on-one coaching. Um, And yeah, I love you guys. Remember, you came for the joy of living. Bye.